Yes, Dave, we're uh, live outside the Davis Police Department where people continue to come by and pay their respects to Officer Corona. This as police release new details about the shooting suspect in this case, including a cryptic note he left behind. Police have identified the shooting suspect as Kevin Douglas Limbaugh, 48 years old, from Davis. They say Limbaugh ambushed Davis police officer Natalie Corona as she responded to a three-car crash near his home on 5th Street Thursday night. Limbaugh, they say, shooting Corona several times and firing shots at other first responders in the area as well, striking a firefighter in the boot. And new tonight, police say Limbaugh wrote a letter shedding light on his deadly plan. The Davis Police Department has been hitting me with ultrasonic waves meant to keep dogs from barking. I notified the press, internal affairs, and even the FBI about it. I'm highly sensitive to its effect on my inner ear. I did my best to appease them, but they have continued for years, and I can't live this way anymore. And it's signed, Citizen Kevin Limbaugh. Police have no reason to believe Limbaugh knew Officer Corona. Limbaugh was known to carry an assault weapon. Yellow County Superior Court records show that he was arrested after assaulting a co-worker at the Cash Creek Casino Resort in Brooks, where they both worked. He was charged with battery causing serious bodily injury. It was reduced to a misdemeanor after a plea, but Limbaugh was sentenced to eight days in jail and three years probation. Shortly after, he turned over an AR-15 assault rifle to the Davis Police Department. No word yet on how he was able to obtain the weapon used in the shooting of Officer Corona. And police tell us that they found that note on Limbaugh's bed. Presumably, they say he left that there for them to find. The next steps in all of this, police say, is for them to uh, see how Limbaugh was able to obtain the handguns that were used in the shooting. Steve, back to you. And, uh, Mark, I know we're just getting information about this note that was left, and as you mentioned, they had left it inside his home. Are police indicating that they're drawing any conclusions from this? Did they know that he was upset with them at any point?